In this video, we will be going over the Measure Distance tool. And to get to that tool, if you're in your drawing workflow, under the Analyze ribbon, in this first group, this first tool is called Measure Distance. I'm going to left click and select it. With this tool, you have several different methods. If I select the down arrow, you have between points, you have a long element, you have perpendicular, you have minimum between, and you have maximum between. We're just going to leave it set to between points for right now. You also have a couple options under this down arrow. You have flatten to Z file, flatten to view, flatten to ACS plane, flatten to AccuDraw plane, and geodetic. For this drawing, we're just going to leave them set flattened to file Z. And then you have your distance and your total. When we start measuring, these will start filling in. And then you have this down arrow over here where you can also see your start points, your end points, and your deltas. And I'll just leave this expanded and you can kind of see how this will fill out as we're measuring. So now if I want to go out and measure between points, all I'll have to do is go out and select some points. But I'm going to come down here and make sure my snapping's turned on and I'm using my key point snap for this option. So now I'll just come out, snap to an end point or something I want to measure. I'm going to snap to this end point right here. You should be able to see the little blue line as you're measuring. And now if I want to snap to this end point over here and see what this distance is, I can just snap to that point and left click. And now up in my distance, you can see it's filling in my distance and my total. And what the total is, if I want to keep going and I want to snap to another point, I can just come up to this point and snap to it. It's going to give me my distance between the last two points I clicked and the total of all the points I've selected. If I wanted to keep measuring between points, I could, or if I'm done with the tool, I can just right click to reset the tool, and now I can go on to my next method. So I'm going to come over and switch my method from between points to along an element. A good example for this one, if I want to measure the distance along this arc, I couldn't use my between points because that would just give me a straight line between this point and this point. So if I want that true distance along the arc, I can just use the along element. So to measure this, I'm going to switch my snapping from my key point snap to my intersection snap. So I'm going to double left click on my intersection snap to activate it. Now I'm going to come back out to my screen. So I'm going to come out and snap to this intersection. I want to make sure the line, I want to make sure that the line I want to measure is highlighted with the solid line and not the dashed line. So if I just move it around a little bit, I've got my arc as a solid highlighted line. I'll left click to start my measure. Now if I want to measure to this point up here, I'll just snap to this intersection and it should give me my measurement of 120 feet. So that's how you use the along element if I switch my method from a long element to perpendicular, and for this example, I want to measure off of the center line of this roadway to the end point of this line up here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my snapping back to key point. Now I'm going to select the line I want to measure perpendicularly off of. So I'm going to select the center line arc. Now when I go out, you can see my measurements staying perpendicular to that arc. You'll notice though, if I do go past that arc, it's not going to be a perpendicular, it's just going to measure off of that end point. But if I want to snap to this point up here, I'll just get to my snap, left click to accept it, and it's going to give me that perpendicular distance. So now if I change it from perpendicular to minimum between, so for this one, maybe I want to know the minimum distance between this polygon and this line right here. I'll just left click on my first element, left click on my second element. 
it's going to give me the minimum distance between those two elements and it's going to place a temporary line out there showing me where that distance is located and so that's the minimum between if I switch it to maximum between it does kind of the opposite if I select this polygon again and select this line it's going to show me that maximum distance between those two elements and it's going to put it up here in the distance. So those are the different methods you have in the measure distance tool.